create some invisible buttons with features of hyperlinking within Keynote. We're going to start by placing a US map or a graphic that shows anything with different sections on it on our Keynote slide. I recommend selecting it and locking it to the back of the slide so that it can't move when you add additional shapes on top of it. Now we're going to use the shape tool and you can use any shape at all because when we end up with um, hyperlinking the shape, we're going to make it invisible. Um, definitely you want it to be close to the edges or the borders of the state shape in this example, but I think that that would be close enough without too much overlap on an adjoining state. Next in our formatting um, inspector, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom of the style panel or the style tab and slide our opacity slider all the way to 0%. This is the key to making your buttons invisible. It is still a filled shape, and we can still make it a clickable button, but nobody can see it. So you have to um, find it by exploration or um, by knowing that it's there. We'll just um, add that link like we learned in our last lesson, and we'll just visit instead of a different slide, we'll go out to a web page. For the state of Nebraska, let's visit nebraskaproject.com and we can just hit enter to make that link active. Now on my keynote slide when I'm editing the slides I see the arrow showing that it's hyperlinked but when I play this slide in slideshow view I will not see that arrow so you'll just find it by hovering over it and exploring. You can do this with any type of a shape so I could use just even a small circle to designate the shape of for example, help us find where Washington DC is located and then slide the opacity to zero, control click, add link, and let's paste in a URL here to take us to a student created project about um, Washington DC. And then finally, you can even build abnormal shapes by using the pen tool and do it in the same way. So the shape of California which is not regular here. We can just draw some pen points on top of it, close the shape, hit enter, and then take that shape. And we would want to add just a color fill of some kind of color, but then slide the opacity to zero. And then we can, of course, link that with a control click, add link. And in this case, let's go back to the previous slide. Um, one thing that's important to remember when you're using these interactive hyperlinks within Keynote is to go to your document inspector and for the presentation type change it to links only so that people can't accidentally advance to the wrong slide or a different slide that they have to use the hyperlinks to navigate the slideshow. Now let's hit play and we'll see how it turned out. Um, I am hovering my mouse over and it's not doing anything when I click until I come to something that does have a hyperlink and that'll definitely take me out to that website and after it loads I can close out the website and go back to the keynote. Let's show how the Washington DC link would work. Just have to find it with the hand. It takes me out to the student project on YouTube to teach about our US government. In the American government, there are three branches. The executive And branch. finally, our California link, which is um, an irregular shape, so I can hover over the edges of the state borders and then click, takes me back to the previous slide. And there you have it, invisible buttons in Keynote.